Choosing a web hosting company is the most critical decision you'll make when you're building a new website. The reason? Because you're going to build your website on top of that infrastructure that, that company is providing you with. There's a lot of bargains out there, but if you're not careful, you'll try to build, doesn't matter how good of a designer you are, if you're building on a flawed infrastructure, your website's not going to be successful. I'm going to show you the concepts that you need to know to make sure you're getting a good web hosting company for a good price. First thing you need to do to determine what type of web hosting you need is to determine what type of website you're building. Now, this is oversimplifying a little bit, but I like to categorize it into three different categories. Number one, just like a hobbyist website or a web form or a web blog, something simple. That's when you need to go with a value web host and that's when you can start really shopping for bargain basement deals. The next one, e-commerce. Are you trying to set up a web store? Now you've got to be careful because there's a couple of very, very critical aspects you need to watch for, specifically security. Now, the third and last one is the most advanced and also the most expensive, and that's a dedicated web server. What do you gain from that? Mostly security and performance, but you've got to pay for it. Dedicated servers are really expensive, and unless you need one, try to look for something else. The first type of web host that we're going to talk about is a value web host. This is when you're looking for a great deal, and if you're careful, you can find one. But if you're not, you're just going to get screwed. And that's what I'm going to show you not to do. All right. A value web host, what you're going for is you're basically trying to get as much as you can for as least amount of money as possible. Now, the catch is it depends on your experience. If you're not very experienced, go ahead and make sure you get lots of features that you need. If you're more experienced, you can really bargain hunt. Some of the features you need to look for, a good control panel. One of the uh, big names out there is cPanel. That's a good one. Installation scripts. This is the programs that help you install other types of features. It helps tremendously, especially if you're new at web development. Make sure you've got plenty of space, plenty of disk space, and plenty of bandwidth. You don't want to get start getting a little bit of traffic and then shut you down. Last but not least, look for a good price. A good price in this range is anywhere from five to ten dollars. Anything less than that, and I promise you're getting shortchanged somewhere, so be careful. So you've got an awesome idea for a store, or you already own a store and you want to get on the internet. What you need is an e-commerce web host. There's a couple of very critical things you need to look for in an e-commerce web host, and I'll show you what they are. The biggest factor when you start talking about e-commerce is security. That's why I'm a big fan of going with a big name here and paying for it because it's worth it not to get sued if you lose someone's financial information. That's why security is so critical for an e-commerce site. The next biggest thing, make sure it's easy to use. You've got to be able to plug in your products and take them out as you sell them. Good management software here goes a long way. Once again, why I like the big names in this category. Read the fine print. A lot of e-commerce sites restrict you to how many products you can actually sell within your store. So, whatever plan you're looking at, make sure they have enough products that supports your needs. Bandwidth, usually not an issue. Just make sure there's no restrictions on it. For a price range, it depends on how many things you're planning on selling. If you only have a couple of products, expect to pay around $10 a month. If you have a pretty big web store, expect to pay at least $50 a month. Dedicated servers. Man, they are wicked fast and wicked cool, but they're also wicked expensive. Now, if someone's trying to sell you a dedicated server and you don't think you need one, you probably don't. But I'll talk through some of the aspects of a dedicated server and when you really need to look at getting one. I'm always very cautious about recommending someone to get a dedicated web server. The reason? Because they're really expensive. And unless you have the experience to take advantage of what it can do for you, it's probably not worth it. There are some other things out there that will probably meet your needs and you won't spend nearly as much money. I'll go into that later in another video. For the scope of this video, I just want to explain what they are. It's basically a dedicated computer for your website. There's only one website on it, and it's yours. That makes your website super fast and super secure. The biggest being security. 
dedicated servers are what you need for like financial information, things like that. You don't want anybody to get at. Dedicated servers are much easier to secure than a shared server. Also, most dedicated servers come with support and actually somebody's managing your website for you and constantly watching your security and stuff. Dedicated servers, awesome if you need it. If you don't, save your money. That's the biggest thing to remember. In summary, figure out what you need, figure out what you want, and then go looking for a good price. Once you find one, do some homework and research the company you're planning on going with. There's tons of resources at the website. And last but not least, just don't get sucked into a really big contract. That way you can always go with someone else if it doesn't work out. Get what you want, get what you need, and get a killer price. Check us out. Still got lots of resources on the website. KillerHostingGuide.com. I'm Tony D.